Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi, and welcome to Spice and Pens. I'm Roland Lin, and today we are cooking Teochew fish porridge or Taozhou Yu Zhou. So let's start cooking. Today we'll be using a clay pot to cook the fish porridge. In this clay pot, there's two liters of water. I'll be adding in half a kilogram of chicken feet, which I've already blanched. Now for Teochew for fish porridge, the most important thing is the broth or the soup. So to make sure that it is very flavorful. I'll be adding in 150 grams of ikan bilis or anchovies and two tablespoons of dried shrimp, which I've soaked. I'll be putting them inside a muslin bag. Put this all in. Remember to wash and rinse the anchovies and soak the dried shrimp before you put them in the muslin bag. For the dried shrimp, soak them until soft. That will take about 20 minutes or so. I will also be adding in a dried soul fish which I fried. This will add a very nice flavor to the soup. Now we will cook this soup for 45 minutes. Put the lid back on and wait for it to cook. While waiting for the stock to be ready, let's marinate the fish. 1 teaspoon of salt Pepper 2 teaspoon of corn flour Now the corn flour is actually to make the fish smoother and it will taste much better with this as a coating So mix them up well Now do this very lightly, try not to break the fish After this is done just put them back in the fridge, cover up. So marinate this until the soup is done and we can start to cook the porridge. I've heated up some oil in the frying pan. I'm going to shallow fry this dried cuttlefish which I've soaked and cut into strips like this. This is actually optional but it will actually add a, a very nice flavor to the soup. So when the oil is hot, at medium to low heat, Put the cuttlefish in and fry them until crispy. Remember not to burn the cuttlefish, otherwise it will sort of give you a bitterness on the taste. So it must be medium to low heat. Be careful with my splatter. Fry them until when you use your spatula to, to fill them, if they are a little bit crispy on the outside and it will be done. Remember to move them around so they won't be burned. Right, there's a lot of bubbles because there's a lot of moisture on the cuttlefish. So when you see lesser of the bubble, that means it's almost done already. Smells really good. I can feel that they are hardening up now. And they have turned to a nice golden brown. In another 10-15 seconds or so, this will be ready. Okay, these are done already. I'll just remove them from oil. Using back the same oil, I'm going to fry some garlic. This is about two full bucks of garlic. Same thing also, not too high on the heat, medium to low. We don't want to burn this also. Now do not wait until it's dark brown and then you take them out from the heat because the oil will still cook the garlic even after leaving the fire. You will add this fried garlic to, to the porridge and this will bring the taste up to another level. When it's light golden brown, you, you have to take it off from the heat. Remember, every time you fry garlic, you have to keep stirring them so that they won't get burned that easily. It smells really nice. I love the taste of garlic as well as the smell. Right, you can see that it's a light golden brown now. I'm going to take it off the heat and just remove them from this pan. This should do it. Okay, remove this from heat then. The soup has been boiling for 45 to 50 minutes now. Let's have a look. Beautiful, smells really nice. Mm -hmm. Now we remove the chicken feet, the anchovies, and the soul fish all from the soup. Look at how beautiful and milky the soup is. No MSG, very flavorful soup. Next, we'll add in the rice. This is approximately one and a half cup of rice cooked. Just pour them into the soup. I have also julienne some ginger. I'm going to put some of it in. This is approximately a thumb size of young ginger, julienne. 
Now, if you want more rice, if your family like to eat a little bit more rice, feel free to add them. This will be good for a family of four or five. We'll wait for the soup to boil, turn the heat up high, put the cover back on. When it's boiling, we'll put the fish in. When the soup is boiling, it's time to put the fish in. I'll add in two tablespoons of fish sauce so that it'll be savory enough. Let's just give it a light stir and taste whether it's savory enough for our liking. Wow, fantastic, really, really good. Time to add in the fish. I'm using mackerel fish over here. You can use any light tasting fish, pomfret, ikan tenggiri, etc. Now I'll add this squid in. This will actually add another level of uh, taste to this porridge. Again, this is optional. It's just that I like the very nice umami taste of the tartar fish. Put the cover back on. In three minutes time, we can have this porridge. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how we cook our Teochew fish porridge. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.